team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Dick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the Providence Friars and the Kentucky Wildcats. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Wildcats are prepared to fight tooth and nail in this one, Dick. What are the keys to victory? If I'm their coach, the keys would be these. Number one, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Next, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. And lastly, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Both teams looking to get things going here. Number 34 makes the shot. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. With the block. Here's a flash from the post up high. The small forward handles the pass. He shoots from right of the circle. Spacing. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He shoots from left to the circle, gets it to fall. They look to get it to the inside. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Theodore receives the pass for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. He tries the three ball. Goes in. Cue the rewind button, boys. To him down low, going the other way. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Providence has put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. For the bucket, and he scores it off the glass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries the turn. The defense comes up with a play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Kelly receives the ball. Put a show on, man. Great boy handling skills. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. the feed here's the toss back out from the post I tell you coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one yeah it should have been a whistle right there I thought there was definitely an offensive charge trying to go inside the skip pass is picked off gave it up tries for two Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Shepard picks up the foul. First team foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up, and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. 
He makes a nice shot fake. Off the rim and no good. Dumps it in. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Stolen away. Fast break possibility coming. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. He puts up the tray. He buries the shot. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Both teams looking to get things going here. The Friars have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Try to feed inside. They say forget about him. Then he does a little dribbling out here and turns it over. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Goes up for two. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He lets it go. Providence are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Well, some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Here's a double team. And he'll kick it back outside. Let's it fly. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. On the outside. Stop and pop. He gets the bucket to fall. On the outside. There's the trap. He drains the shot. <laughs> They're 
they come with a double team to stop it. Turnover City now always really the gate. And he Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when they needed it, baby. Oh, Mr. Nestle, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of it. The Wildcats will step to the line for the first time. Got it from the free throw line. Problem with that when you're front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're front. They're working around the arc, puts it out, way off target. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's <laughs> pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Definitely a foul. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. All right. Thanks, Aaron. alley -oop. Trying to draw some contact. Up. Oh, easy one. the perimeter good job defensively they just won't give many openings pressure in the basketball <laughs> leaning in trying to draw contact and clean and the jam look at this effort he lets it fly he's money with the shot Gave it up. Gonna take some pride on the defensive end. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Shepard is fired up and ready to go. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Both teams looking to get things going here. Up and inside. He tries the three. That was nice. to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass nice job to create the angle using the glass Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. There's the fake. And they get the turnover. It's a fast break possibility. Tries for two. And he scores it off the glass. defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The ball goes out of bounds. Things are going well, and it's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy in the win. He's got the man in the high post. If he can get it there, 
Blocks it. Nice rotation over blocking that shot. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. He up fakes. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And the ball goes out of bounds. Ten seconds on the shot clock. For two. And off the mark. Drains it. Let's check out this replay, Brad. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. a bad pass right to the defender for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy in the sideline. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Buried it. Bridget is trying to get the fans involved now. He's asking for a bit more in the next possession. Gets up to make the block. They push it up on the break. Tries for two. Sinks the shot. paint trying to draw the foul and he scores despite the hack Dick they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block I tell you what a great job on a defensive player he's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot now the high and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot can't get the shot to drop the Wildcats are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. He's got a high post flasher. Got the high pick. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Picks off the lazy pass. going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The Friars are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Makes the first. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Oh. 
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Overplays on the pass, and he, he gets the rejection. He takes it away. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Pump fakes. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Picked off. He shoots from the top of the circle. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. And a momentary look from three-point land. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. He blocks the shot. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. is dead my goodness players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do <laughs> i'll tell you it must be nice they're working around the perimeter up it inside he throws it up from downtown way off target at the half the wildcats are up by one well, Dick, so far we've got a close one. Any play that sticks out to you as the highlight of the half? Watch some of the great inside work in the first half, Brad. The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Kentucky is shooting very well from the floor right now, Dick. They're getting good looks, man, and they're not letting them go to waste. That's how you win games, man. Offensive execution. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He takes a three. He gets it to go. Four, 
The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Aaron's right about that. Dick. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of more offensive action. There's a steal. Tries to get the D to bite. With a little baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He launches the bomb. He gets that one to fall. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Looking to move it around the... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Off the rim and no good. Fakes the shot. The shot from the baseline. Kentucky have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Foul charge. Nick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Got a man in high post. Entry pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. <laughs> the defense senses a five-second call. Jumped in front to take it away. Now they work it around the perimeter. He lets it go. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the outside. Nice fake. Double team now, bad angle. He tries the three ball. He nails the bucket. Went away from the post and goes the other way. The center gets the ball. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Hard foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Here's a double team. Look at that spacing. In the paint. Kicks it out. Shoots. He drains the bucket. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Transition opportunity coming up. He buries it. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and 
this kid has responded in a positive way. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Gotta think right now, gotta focus defensively. They get it out into transition, goes up for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. There's the pick. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Point guard takes the feed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Picks off the lazy pass. He puts it in with contact and all. The power forward takes the pass. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. but the offense got it back. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench defensive stops and do it now that's probably why you're out of coaching too many points off turnovers I'll tell you one thing that leads you to the exit sign no question you get the Ziggy I'll tell you you got to protect the basketball you can't turn it over <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. well the arc looked good and a big rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. For two. Doesn't go. Picked off. This is what you're supposed to do down low. Go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal.
Takes the pass in the paint. They move it into the front court. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Great defense. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from downtown. Goes. Up and inside. And now they'll bring it up. And that one's blocked. On the outside, he intercepts it. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Gets it to fall. The Friars are trailing by 18. There's the trap. Shot inside off the screen. Just won't go. Number one steps in for the first time tonight. This may or may not have been the right substitution at this point, Brad. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Second shot is no good. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. He intercepts it. They'll work it around the arc. In the paint. Time to pick up the deep. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Hopkins goes to the line for the first time. It's good. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter for the bucket. I tell you, there's a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Way off target. Up fake. Terrell dropped. He got the bucket and the foul. Hey, the foul in the air couldn't stop him, baby. He wanted that bucket. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talking. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits that one. The Friars are behind by 19. Controlling the ball. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Intercepted. Full court pass. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The 
Nick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Harm and foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. For two, he gets the bucket. The point guard gets the pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Adam, momentary look from three point land. They get that rejected. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The Wildcats lead by 20. Here they go, into transition. Way out on top, controlling the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's working on that low block, on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. with a double team to stop it. Stolen away. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Kentucky is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Stolen. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Launches the bomb. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. We'll take the shot. Off the rim and no good. For the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Double team now. Bad angle. Takes it off him. inside. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Puts up the tray. Makes the shot. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Unloads a three. It sticks. Let me hear you say replay, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want we'll to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Kicked off. Length of the floor for the deuce. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground there. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. See if they can get a good shot this trip. He comes away with it. Here we go on the break. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's take another look. Spacing. Ten on the shot clock. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Let's it fly. He nails the shot. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Steal. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. There's a double team waiting there. Good job defensively. Goes up for two. In and out. Gets it to go. Pushing that basketball. They work it around the arc. Fakes a jumper. Looking for a good shot. Looks at a three. Drains the shot. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Here's a double team. Stolen ball. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. Let's watch the move as he works his man and not a fadeaway jumper. He comes up empty. This young man is thrilled about something. Look at him pump himself up out there. Sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. 
Kentucky played exactly the type of game they need to get past their first round opponent. Mr. Nestler, if they can execute the way they did today, are you kidding me? Nobody will stop them heading into the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler saying so long.